In the neonatal intensive care unit, life is full of cords, monitors, and beeps. We have very tight parameters that the nurses and the respiratory therapists try to keep our baby's oxygen levels in. For a premature baby, too much oxygen can cause blindness. Being exposed to too much oxygen can cause those blood vessels to start forming abnormally. And so with time, what can happen is those blood vessels cause the retina to detach from the back of the eyeball and then the baby can end up being blind. Too little oxygen can cause brain damage and other negative health effects. Small adjustments to raise or lower the level of oxygen are made by hand. Now a clinical trial will test a new device designed to automatically and precisely make needed adjustments. High tech and the, the new innovation. Associate Professor and Associate Dean Roger Fales in the MU College of Engineering designed the device. It uses a microcontroller to calculate how much oxygen the baby needs. A small motor will automatically adjust the knob, freeing up nurses who currently make the adjustments by hand. Fails compares it to the way cruise control works in a vehicle. Cruise control automates the process of keeping the speed uh, constant in your vehicle. Uh, in the case that we have here, we're automating the process of adjusting the amount of oxygen that the baby receives to keep their blood oxygen saturation constant. A pilot study has already shown the device works. Now researchers are launching a larger multi-center clinical trial. The things that we'll look at is what kept the oxygen level in the prescribed range the most, the nurses or the computer. The researchers plan to enroll about 60 premature babies in the study, with half at MU Healthcare and the other half at another site in Florida. The collaboration includes MU engineering students, all working together to help the smallest patients grow strong.